trams and that too air conditioned trams were something unimaginable for all of us few decades back before i discuss and i share more of my experiences with the tram when i was studying in calcutta in early 90s let me share uh, some very interesting historical aspects about the trams in india we all know that uh, calcutta tramway company which started the uh, trams in india was a straight run company which operated trams and buses in and around calcutta the kolkata tram as we all know is the only operating tramway in india and it is the oldest electrical tram in asia operating since 1902 1902 the tram since then has modified uh, you know many of its uh, external shapes but the feel of the tram is still very same, same very nostalgic uh, very uh, you know slow it stops the time for some time and it's very interesting to be inside the tram the first horse drawn trams in india ran for 2.4 miles between shialda and armenian ghat street on 24th february 1873 the service was discontinued on 20th november of that year the calcutta tramway company was formed and registered in london on 22nd december 1880 then the meter uh, gauge horse drawn tram tracks were laid from shialda to armenian ghat via bau bazaar street delosi square and strand road The route was then inaugurated by Viceroy Lord Ripon on 1st November 1880. In 1882, steam locomotives were deployed experimentally to haul the tram cars. So, tram in India has a very interesting history, and it has, you know, it has been a very integral part of the then British Empire uh, in India. Uh, apart from the Calcutta, there are few other cities uh, where trams were also running in the past. The, the, these cities are Mumbai, Baroda, Nasik, Kanpur, Kochi, Patna, to my great surprise, as well as Bhavnagar, and New Delhi, of course. But in all these cities, the trams were discontinued sometime in the, uh, you know, 19 uh, between 1930 to 1940 and 1960s. The trams were discontinued. But Calcutta has always retained its old word charm, and still you can enjoy the feel of the tram inside in the Calcutta. uh when i remember my days in the tram when i was a student uh, studying mbbs in calcutta in 19 early 1990s i remember that uh, the trams at that time used to have two coaches one front and one back and uh, 25 30 years back the so called second class of the compartment of the tram uh, the only difference between the first and the second class compartment of the trams were that in the second class compartments there were no fans and the ticket in at that time was 90 paisa for the behind compartment the second class one and for the front compartment that is the first class one was 1 rupees 10 paisa and i remember uh, most of us always used to travel the second class compartment for giving 90 paisa because somehow we used to save even 20 paisa uh, without fan and uh, it was a great fun because over a month we could have saved a few rupees Uh, which was enough for us to watch a movie in calcutta in chaplin or in nandan or uh, those government run halls even in the best of the halls in calcutta at that time like globe and uh, new empire the tickets used to be around 7 or 8 rupees so every month if we travel second class sometimes without ticket also so but now when i went to the uh, calcutta this time the air conditioned trams were a very pleasant surprise the ticket nowadays in these trams were 20 rupees flat ticket and uh, but the feel of the calcutta is still same the tram moves in its own way sometimes it gets jammed because of an auto standing in front of it the tram can't change its way so it's fun it's fun in the trams of calcutta